Hey you guys, how's it going? So today I am going to do a first impression let's play review of a game called Paleo Pines and it is a open world uh, crafting, building, farming uh, type game uh, for 30 dollars or 30 euros. So as always with all of my first impression let's play reviews i'm going to be playing the game for an hour or more until i am satisfied that i can give you my opinion on the game if you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full one hour or more of the video then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video i will put a timestamp in the description below to which you can simply jump if you want to hear my quick concise final opinion on the game and whether or not I can recommend the game. But if you're not in a hurry and you don't want to jump to the end then you can simply stay tuned and I will be playing the game and giving you my running commentary and telling you what I think is good and bad about the game as I play through the game today. So. Like I say, $30, 30 euro on Steam. And the game has been out for a couple of months, but I haven't gotten around to uh, playing the game yet since then because I have a little bit of a backlog of games right now. Uh, I had to purchase this game with my own funds. The developers didn't send me a key, uh, or at, at least I bought it with the funds from my Patreon. So. This is uh, yet again another game and another review that wouldn't have been possible without your support on my Patreon. So that's obviously uh, very much appreciated. So um, I don't see any real issues with the settings. Everything works fine. Borderless actually works. Changing the resolution actually works. On top of the resolution change that actually works, they also added a resolution scaling uh, option as well, which is nice. They have um, a frame rate uh, set, uh, but there's okay 120 and then 240. So there's no um, 144 which is missing and then there's no 360 so no 360 fps and no 144 fps so those are two uh, frame rate settings that are missing in the game which is an issue otherwise than that i don't see any real uh, issues otherwise we will turn uh, blurring off because i don't like that apply and uh, yeah, otherwise than that, uh, the, there's only like the quality is uh, medium, low, high, ultra. Um, you can't change the, the shadow quality individually. You can't change the, the uh, environmental quality individually. You can't change the water quality individually. So that is also an issue. Um, everything is put together in a single option which is medium low high on ultra so that is a little bit of an issue it would just be nice if you could actually change all of the different options individually but anyway with that being said we can jump into the game So, different, uh, I guess we can say, ethnicities that you can select. You can rotate your character. eye color change hair color uh, 
can you actually change the gender or is this one of those games where you can't change the gender? Okay, so the face stays the same and that way they avoid uh, giving the player the option to change the gender. There's not a lot of uh, hairstyles, to be honest. Very, very basic, I would say, hairstyles. Yeah, really, really basic hairstyles. I don't really like any of them. I guess we will take that one. Very, very limited with regards to the colors and the types of clothing that you can have. Extremely limited, in fact. And the, the options for the pants are even more limited. Holy balls. There's literally just one skirt. This is the only skirt in the entire game and it's the only color of skirt in the entire game that's really limited So yeah, the character creator is really limited in basically every aspect. Hairstyles are very limited. Clothing choices are extremely limited. Um, there's no options for uh, any earrings, facial piercings, tattoos, nothing like that. Gloves nothing not even a hat or anything that you can put on your head glasses or anything like that it's all just very very limited and we get the intro cinematic I'm not going to read all of this stuff.
Okay, so uh, the intro didn't really uh, <laughs> say much. Like it didn't explain why there are dinosaurs in the world. It didn't say how we got a dinosaur. It didn't say how we got this place, this Paleo Pines place. Nothing like that. So um, it's very, very sparse in the uh, information department. Dreamstone. Okay, I'm supposed to know what what the Dreamstone is. I don't like the movement. Like, I'm I'm literally pressing forward for one millisecond, like that, and then she actually takes a couple of steps forward. I'm literally just tapping forward. And then she actually moves a couple of steps. I don't like that at all. And then when you run around and you stop, then she continues to move. Run around, stop. Run around, stop. So literally there's like, almost it feels like lag um, with regards to the movement. It When you stop, it takes a while for the character to stop and when you start it also takes a while for the character to stop so it just feels strange it's not normal it's not a normal movement system okay so what am i supposed to do We can run with shift, apparently. Okay, now it's actually showing us at the bottom right um, some more information. But what if I don't want to go home right now? Like, can't I do anything right now? Doesn't look like we can do anything. And he's standing up and sleeping. Apparently everyone has dinosaurs in this place. <laughs> yeah, like I said, not gonna read all of this shit.
Okay, so there's different days, uh, birthdays on certain days, uh, maybe different events on certain days as well. There's the different weather and there's seasons. Uh, so yeah, very much uh, typical for this type of game. So can we actually start mining and shit like that or what? Why did I just lose one stamina? Okay, so apparently if you sprint you lose stamina. That's fucking stupid. Um, so what am I supposed to do now? I, I don't even have a, a thing at the top left anymore. Visit Pebble Plaza, buy herber herbivore food, talk with Mario. Okay. Uh, maybe I should bring Lucky. Okay. So it seems you're gonna walk through this entire game because when you sprint you lose stamina. Can we actually clear this stuff? Oh yes we can. But Lucky loses um, stamina when he does that. Or when she does that, since it's a female. Okay, what do I... Okay, can't do anything there. Um, like, the game has no tutorial to speak of, to be honest. Um, like, it has the journal thing, but otherwise than that, no tutorial. I really don't know what to do exactly. Doesn't look like um, Lucky wants to do much. Do we lose? Oh yes, we do lose stamina if we sprint. So that's again fucking stupid. Like what? What's all of this stuff? I guess we have to be on foot in order to interact with all of these different things. What's that? Like, it would be really useful if we actually had a tutorial.
Yeah, this game requires a shirt load of reading. Uh, can someone deliver a lucky trinket? A trinket and a hat. So she she sells spring onion seeds, potato seeds, and carrot seeds. So is that her money and this is my money, I'm assuming. So far you have to do a lot of assuming in this game. Because, like I said, tutorial is uh, nowhere to be seen. He sells a small trough, wood gate, wooden rope fence. sells herbivore food which I'm assuming we need quite a bit of so let's buy 20 and then carnivore food saddle flour pear potato sugar rice Carrot. I don't like the fact that I have to hover over, over all of this stuff for like two seconds. Um, that's gonna waste a lot of time in the game. Can, can we change it maybe? Nope, doesn't look like we can change it at all. Ah, oh, fuck, we can't even sprint here. We still lose... Yeah, we still lose stamina. The fact that you lose stamina when sprinting is fucking idiotic. Collected from Pippin, Owen, Agami, so Pippin, Owen, Agami, Pippin. Who the hell is Pippin? Can we zoom in? Nope. Can't zoom in. 
Um, does it show the names? No. Okay, Marlo. Orlan. But where the hell would I find Pippin? Fuck, I should remember not to press sprint. Ah, this is Agami. Okay. So that one is done then, I think. So now I need to find Pippin and Owen. Where would they be? I've been through the entire place over here. I don't know where they would be. I wish you could just like sh see on the map, but like it doesn't show. The map is absolutely pathetic. Approach a fence post and holding down a right click to pick it up. Is it... Is it gonna prompt me? This one. This one. So can I, I do anything myself? Like literally, it doesn't look like I'm, I can do anything. Like I can pick up posts like that, but otherwise than that, I can't clear up this mess. So I'm going to have to probably use the, the dino to clear up the mess thing. I 
Where the fuck is Pippin? Find the Parasaurolophiosus. Okay, uh, let's give you a pet. I think I have food. Oh, you, you have food already. Okay, and then let's mount. That's what she said. And then let's head out. I want to see if there's anything that I can actually do um, to like get rid of my stamina because I know how to get rid of my dino's stamina, but I don't know how to get rid of my own stamina yet. Like what's that up here? Oh, we're actually regenerating stamina. Okay, interesting. Don't know what the real use of that is. It seems pretty useless. Can we do anything else? Like... Looting or... Like, the tutorial in this game is pathetic, I have to be honest. Like, I, I, I don't know what to do, really. Why, why did the dinosaur just appear out of nowhere? He wasn't standing here and then all of a sudden he was standing here. Okay, I'm assuming we can't get through here. Make notes by equipping your journal and holding left click. Like, I, I don't understand what, what's the, what's the purpose? Like, can't you uh, chop down wood or, or collect leaves from these things? Like, how, how do you actually build stuff and progress and all of that kind of stuff? Like, I can't use this thing. I can sit there, obviously, if I want to. Can we go down here? Nope. Not allowing me to go down here. Like, how do you chop trees and stuff like that? How, how do you get wood and... All of that. Like, even with a dino, you, you can't do any of that. Also, why can't you pick up the Dreamstone while you're on, on the dino? Why do you need to dismount the dino um, just to loot something like that and then get back onto the dino that seems very obtuse can't go anywhere like holy hell really limited
the what's that? Okay, so you can actually m mine stuff after you've journaled it. Is that how it works? Where's that clay fragment that I journal journaled? How do you interact with other dinosaurs? Oh. Okay, well, I can't interact with them at all. I can't I can't do anything with them. They run away as soon as I come close. Can't I loot this? Oh, you first have to put away your your journal and then you can loot it. That's fucking stupid. And it seems like you have to journal something before you can interact with it like why why can't you just interact with it and then it gets added to your journal i've got no idea what to do with the dinosaurs can't interact with them on the on on my dinosaur and i can't interact with them while i'm not on the dinosaur so i've got no idea And I can't loot this stuff while my journal is out, so I have to then cancel my journal, and then I can loot it. Oh, not enough inventory. Okay, well that's stupid. So, like, uh, don't I have a stash or something? Um, Seriously, now I have to go all the way back to the farm. Can we fast travel or anything like that? I'm assuming we can't fast travel. So I have to go all the way back and then somehow stash my stuff. Do I have a stash? Storage. Ah, oh, there we go. So the game has seemingly got no salient tutorial. You just have to figure out everything on your own. Wood needed. Oh yeah, I need wood, okay. Thank you. 
I think we need, yeah, we need fiber and stone. Uh, my quests asked for that. So we can keep those. I can't interact with any of this. Okay, so now we can go out again. I really don't like it when you have to do unnecessary inventory management and in this game it seems there's going to be a lot of that due to the uh, small uh, inventory size. Okay, so can we loot these? No, you can't loot these. So you have to get off of your fucking dinosaur and then you can loot it. That's really unnecessary. Why can't you just loot it while you're on the dinosaur? Once again, just un unnecessary bullshit. And then if you want to journal something, you have to open your inventory and take out your journal each and every time. I've got no idea what to do with dinosaurs. Okay, clovers we already have. Fucking hell, you have to be positioned precisely looking at the object in order to loot it. You can't be standing on top of it or slightly skew or anything like that. Then you can't interact with it. Just so obtuse. So where's this Pippin? Dude, is it that guy over there? The, this map, like I said, is pathetic. Like, it doesn't show names or anything like that. Where's this guy? A little bit to the left.
So I gave him the three fiber. Okay, now there's another guy um, that I still haven't gotten to Pippin. Got no idea where Pippin is. He's the last guy that I need to find. So Agami, Mari, Marlo, Owen, and then I don't know where Pippin is. There's a dream thing over there. Wow, this game really doesn't allow you to do much exploration there's like sheer cliffs everywhere and you can't go down or up it Like, the world also just feels very empty. Like, you you literally have to run around and search for stuff. Like, literally run around and search. In order to just find something, you know? Like, it's not like there's, there's plentiful... Um... You'd have to search your ass off just to find lootables and stuff like that. Just feels very, very empty. And I don't know why the developers chose to make the game that way. Like, look at this. This, this entire area here is completely empty. How do I get down there? Why can't we go through here? Okay, so we can't go through there, so we can't get that dreamstone on the other side. Get out our journal again. Mount again, completely unnecessary. Fucking have to dismount, open your inventory, equip the journal, press and hold to study the thing, unequip your journal, and then jump on your dino again. All of those actions are unnecessary. You should have just been able to uh, journal the thing from your dinosaur, on, on, on the back of your dinosaur fucking getting off and getting on again and taking out your journal all of that is unnecessary and just makes the game more obtuse
but I'm still not sure. There's a couple of people over there. already spoke to them. Are you Pippin? No, you're Mari. I don't know what his fucking favorite food is. Those the only two that are here. Looks like it. You can't even zoom in on the bloody map. You can't even get more detail or anything like that. And then of course, like I said, it doesn't seem like there's any fast traveling. So, um... If you want to go back home, you have to run all the way. And if you want to loot, you have to get off and loot. And then go get on again. For some of the things in the game, you don't need to dismount. Um, but for most of the stuff, you have to dismount. Okay, so we want to go back home. We still have stamina, stamina left that we want to use on... Um, um, clearing up our our home picked up a stone. They don't even know I could do that. Like I said, fucking tutorial is non-existent. Okay, so we can clear some stuff apparently. Wooden stone. Okay, what if I try to clear again? Can't clear, okay. Um, what do I do with this? Can I like place it? Like, what's the point of it, really? Like, I'm not even 100% sure what it actually does. Like, what? What does it do, actually? Like, I've got no idea what the Dreamstone actually does. Okay, so you're happy with food, I'm assuming? Oh, like, literally, I, I still have a lot of stamina left. 
you can see I have 46 stamina left, but like seemingly all that you can do with your stamina is is run like run around if you run then you lose stamina that's seemingly all you can do with your stamina and then with your your dino stamina you can actually excavate stuff which obviously takes stamina but like is that literally all that you can do with your stamina because that just seems weird that it is so limited what what you can actually do with your stamina like i don't even know how to plant the game hasn't explained anything regarding planting yet I don't know what to do with cranberries or anything like that. Um, save progress, I guess. Keep playing. Go to sleep. I don't know what time it is even. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Look at Lucky and play 1-1-1. Two, 2 2 for follow. 3-3-3 three, three, three to stay. And then 1-1-1 one, one, one to get her attention. Or to get Lucky to go back to what she was doing. Okay, so I guess that's how you communicate with dinosaurs because the, there were dinosaurs previously that made certain symbols and perhaps if you talk back to them with certain symbols that match their symbols, maybe that's how you communicate, I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to learn about um, uh, planting, finally. So this does take stamina, it seems it takes about one stamina per swing. Hmm. 
And then we equip the seeds, carrots, I guess. And then we have to water it. Planting takes quite a while because the you can't move during the animation and the animation takes about three seconds so um, it takes about three to four seconds to plot each and every one. It would have been nice if the animation were just like much shorter or simply didn't have an animation. It would just make the uh, planting less of a pain. the pond oh there okay would be nice if it actually showed us where but anyway I guess that's too much to ask Forget the seeds cause nobody's gonna buy a patch of wet dirt. Water your crops every day. Might be surprised to find what what dinosaurs can do. Live there long, blah blah blah. Apparently the dinosaurs uh, can help you do some tasks. Why did, was I teleported over here? Like digging for instance. Obviously they mentioned digging. But I'm sure there's maybe other stuff that the dinosaurs can do as well maybe. Why can't I? I didn't want to do it actually. All of this also takes stamina, the watering and that kind of stuff. I don't know how to get stamina back. Um, I'm not sure if you can get stamina back. In some of these games, they do allow you to get stamina back, but I'm not sure. Like this, it's possible that you can't get stamina back at all, except obviously sitting down. We've already found out that you can you can sit. Um, in order to um, regain stamina but uh, hopefully that's not the only way oh and then we can journal this as well What's our quests now? Investigate the path. Uh, collect from Pippin. Well, I've got a lot of stuff with Pippin, but I haven't encountered Pippin yet. Grab at least 10 carrots. 
find the falafel. Like, who the hell is Pippin? I've got no idea who Pippin is. I'm not seeing a new face anywhere. I don't know. Uh, how many... Um, like, dinosaurs are there, actually? Does it show? So there's um, 13 different crops. Like, carrots, whatever, whatever. There's nine different people in the game. I'm assuming each has their own dinosaur. Doesn't show all of the different dinosaur types. Okay, and then you have stamina again, so we should be able to um, do some stuff now again. Can you destroy this thing or not? Can you? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what the leveling up does except for giving me more stamina on, on, on the dinosaur. And then I don't know if there's a way to make the dinosaur regain stamina. Um, like, I don't know, drinking water or something like that. I, I don't know if there's a way to, to get the stamina more, uh, to get the dinosaur more stamina. Uh, like I said, the, the tutorial is really bad. Really, really bad. Uh, there's still a lot of crucial stuff that I have no idea of. Don't know how to regenerate stamina. Um, the inventory is, is too small, definitely. Um, especially for the beginning. Uh, beginning. Um, I still have no idea regarding dinosaurs, like what to do with dinosaurs. Uh, the game is very, very obtuse with regards to if you actually find something, 90% of the time you have to dismount and then collect it and then mount again. Or you have to dismount, take out your journal so you have to open your inventory click on your journal then you have to journal the the thing and then you have to close your journal again and mount again which is fucking obtuse it is insanely obtuse uh, actually i have to go store a lot of my stuff now again because i'm not not gonna have enough inventory oh and you can't even access the house so you have to dismount your dinosaur Go over to the house, do what you want to do, and then you have to close again, and then you have to mount again, which once again is so obtuse, it is not even funny. Why can't they just allow you to access the storage inventory while you are on your dinosaur? It's just really really obtuse the game is obtuse in so many ways it it just is crazy it, it, it removes from a, a lot of the enjoyment that you could have had in the game and it just is a flood of obtuseness um so yeah i i don't know um quite honestly i don't think i need to play any more of the game uh, I've made my mind up with this game. It is simply too obtuse. 
the world is really really empty like you can run from here all the way over there and loot one or two things if you're lucky um so the world is really really empty the game mechanics overall is really really obtuse um a lot of stuff that only need should need one click or one button instead due to the obtuseness needs six or seven buttons or clicks um which is just crazy it's a massive time waster uh, the tutorial is useless absolutely useless there's a lot of stuff that i still don't understand regarding dinosaurs regarding the stamina system i still don't know what these crystal things do like those crystals over there don't know what they do uh the character customization or the character creator is really really basic uh, you only have like seven or eight options in a lot of the the stuff um for the skirt you only have one skirt option um which yeah really they if they m were going to make the the character creator so basic and they have so few options like only one skirt and one skirt color and then they shouldn't even have bothered like you can't have hats you can't have facial accessories no glasses or anything like that no hats no gloves no nothing like it is so fucking basic um and yeah for for 30 dollars like there are a lot of really really good um games like this that cost 30 dollars or less that just blow this game out of the water you know something like dinkum for instance dinkum is fantastic um sure it doesn't have dinosaurs but um dinkum has a lot of other stuff that uh, makes it much better than this game um and i mean there's a lot of other games you can look at my time at sandrock my time at porsche um any of those types of games um i've reviewed a couple of them on my channel already so you can probably just search for i don't know farming or crafting on my channel and you will probably find a couple of reviews that i've already done on a lot of these games so yeah this game is just i don't know it's not worth it um i'm just gonna uninstall the game after this and um yeah it's definitely not worth 30 dollars with the amount of obtuseness that the game has and the emptiness that the game has like i honestly wouldn't pay more than 15 dollars probably for the game um but honestly like i say i'm i'm just gonna uninstall the game after this it's just not not fun where's the guy the guy that was standing here did did he just disappear oh and the mini map is fucking useless like really this map is useless like i can't even see where, where that guy went now there's only one person right now where i can see where they are i can't see where any of the other people are so um yeah um yeah definitely can't recommend the game in the slightest if you really 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 want to play the game then try to get it for less than 15 dollars um maybe on a 50 percent sale i don't know but honestly um 30 dollars for this game is way too much especially since there are other better games in the genre so yeah guys that is pretty much it um like I said at the beginning, the game has been out for a couple of months, but I've had quite a bit of a backlog. Um, this game has been um, made possible, and this vid video today has been made possible by you guys and my supporters on patreon.com forward slash LFP. So if you want to see more games, more game reviews, 
then that is the way to support the channel and allow me to do more reviews for you guys in the future. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna uninstall this one as soon as I end today. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time.